Welcome everyone. I know we're getting everyone in. We're just gonna give a couple minutes for everyone to join. Thank you guys all for taking time out of your day to do a little, hopefully lunch and learn. Um, get some lunch while you get to learn some great information. Great to see everyone coming in to our waiting room, to our area here out of the waiting room. Um, you can see there's a chat box and we are trying to make this as interactive as possible. So do let us know where you guys are all coming from. I see we've got some uh, patients here. We've got some new people here and we're all so excited to have you guys. So do take a look at your chat box and tell us where you guys are coming from. I am, I'm eager. We get people from uh, patients from all over the world and it's always great to see where everybody is. Hi, Irene from San Mateo. Thank you so much for joining. Beautiful day out there. And of course our neighbors in Danville, Denise and Benicia, thanks so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you. Okay, I think we can go and get started, Elaine. Are, have we let everybody in? Yes, everybody's in. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you guys for joining us from all over Walnut Creek, I see, San Carlos, um, the Philippines. That's wonderful. We've got an international crowd today. I'm so excited. Uh, neighbors from San Ramon, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to join us. Um, hopefully you've got some lunch and you can learn with us all about my favorite topic, which is skincare. Um, everything you wanna know, bring your questions, concerns. Um, this is a place to be interactive, a safe place to ask questions. Uh, this is why we do what we do because we're really passionate about skincare and education and making sure you guys know the right information that is out there. I'm gonna start it off with introducing um, my co-host, Maria Poole. She is wonderful, my skincare specialist from our lab, and I'm so excited to have you. Hi, Maria. Hi, Dr. Xenia. Thanks for having me. I am so incredibly excited to talk to everybody today because this is my favorite subject. And honestly, it comes to me very organically. Um, it wasn't until I was in my mid 40s that I really understood the importance of skincare. And um, when it was time, and obviously it was late in the game, I felt like I um, had a lot of repair to do and didn't know where to turn. So I did a lot of research and um, really took a deep dive into formulations, looking at medical grade skincare and um, Today, I'm going to share my learnings with you in hopes that it will provide some insights for you as well. So when we get started today, I'm going to ask for you to all be interactive with me. Um, so first, I'm going to pose a hypothetical question, and I want you to put your answers in the chat feed. So hypothetical question, if I was to give you the car of your dreams, what would you do to take care of it? And this car needs to last you a lifetime. So how are you going to make sure that it runs beautifully mechanically and cosmetically, that car looks gorgeous for as long as you have it? What would you do to preserve the longevity and beauty of your car? Type Maria, it in. That's a great question. And we are putting it in the chat box right now. So we want everyone to get in there and actually put in, we'd love to hear your input on this hypothetical question, which is going to have a huge relevance in our skincare talk. Mm -hmm. A couple housekeeping things just real quick is um, 
yes, do be interactive. As Maria said, we want to know about your questions, any concerns that we can actually, um, you know, kind of thread into the uh, talk as well as answer at the very end. In the meantime, you're also going to start noticing as we go through our slides, there is a QR code. This QR code is going to be on every single slide. We encourage you guys to actually pull out your phones and essentially scan that. All you go is you just go to your photo, your uh, photo page and you scan that and it will bring you directly to the store page. So this will make it easy for you if you if you hear products that sound like it's they're good for you, especially if you're trying to build a kit. Um, this will be a very easy way that you can actually read about the products and be able to even um, you know learn more about them and then purchase them whenever you're ready. Um, and the other other thing is, um, I see we have so many people joining us. We're so excited to have you. Please, if you know how, I may not know how myself, but if you know how to change the name um, for your actual phone, your heading, whatever you're on, um, if you can change it for us, that would be very helpful. So we can um, take a look and, and kind of match some of our participants. We wanna make sure we get you a free skincare guide at the end of the talk as well. So do look for that in your email. So that will be also all highlighted all together in my own free skincare guide that you're gonna receive after this talk. So um, thank you guys, everybody. Maria, go ahead and you can take it away. Awesome, thanks. Okay, for those who have just joined, um, we are talking about skincare. So this is, sounds a little off topic, but my question was, and it's a hypothetical question, if I was to give you the car of your dreams and it was going to be the last car you owned, what would you do to take care of it, uh, maintain its um, mechanical integrity and its beauty? And I've asked people to type in the chat what it is that they would do. And I'm loving the answers. So let me just scroll back up and I'm going to read these off. Can you hear us? I can hear you now. But um, go ahead and put on mute and so that we keep the background noise uh, down if you don't mind. Okay, so um, wash it and take it for services. Absolutely. Um, regular maintenance and keep in the garage. A hundred percent. And I don't think enough people are putting their cars in garage and that oxidative stress to the car fades the paint job and really, and the environment actually um, creates the rust on the car. So really key to garage it, shield it from the sun, a hundred percent, keep it clean. So wash it, uh, keep up the regular maintenance. I guess that means take the McDonald's bags out of the back seat, um, keep it clean. I think a couple of other things that I might do to ensure the uh, mechanical integrity of the car, premium gas, make sure that I was getting regular oil changes, rotating my tires. So there's a variety of things that you're going to do to ensure the integrity and the longevity of that beautiful car that is really, it's intended to last you a lifetime. So. The parallel that I'm drawing at this point is this is the exact same thing that we're going to do with your skin. There's not that one silver bullet that we're going to do to keeping the car in shape, nor is there that one silver bullet that we're going to use to keep the skin looking beautiful and healthy for a lifetime. And um, let's go to the next slide. Uh, perfect. So today I'm going to kind of demystify skincare and how to build a regimen so that we can ensure that your skin is beautiful, healthy, youthful for the rest of your life. And I'm going to just start by calling out my age. I'm 57 years old. And she was beautiful for 57. And I Amazing. chose not to wear, make, wear makeup on this call because I really wanted you to see my skin. And it wasn't until I was about 45, 46 that I got on to a medical grade regimen. I believe wholeheartedly <laughs> that you can reverse damage with a good at home regimen. So everything that we talk about today, uh, we're offering a 15% site-wide flash sale um, for four, the next 48 hours. So as we're talking, if you see a product that you're like, oh, 
That's for me. I need that. Um, go ahead and pull out your phone, open the camera and scan the, the code. You can go straight to the shop page and start loading stuff in the basket um, that speaks to you and you feel like it's something that you want to build into your regimen. So um, next page. Okay, so we talk about the variety of things that we do to take care of our skin and making it look beautiful and healthy for a lifetime. Foundationally, we're gonna to put together a skincare regimen. After that, then we can start doing the maintenance, right? When we take the car into the service station and we have them um, re-up the car, fix the filters and change the oils and all that, that's like going into Elite MD and getting your injectables and getting your lasers and maybe at one point getting cosmetic surgery. But foundationally, we want to take care of the skin using a medical grade skincare line to ensure that all of these other not inexpensive treatments um, are amplified. We're getting the best results out of them. Um, next page. And I will say, Maria, this is like my foundation to any patient that comes in at Elite MD is to start with the basics, right? Start with that foundation, exactly what we're talking about today, because there's so much misinformation. There's information and a lot of misinformation everywhere you go, and especially like social media and, and places where you think that you can trust the information is not correct. So it's so important to understand you know, and be clear about what is, what is right, what is not, who can you trust? Why are you using what you're using? How should you be using everything? Is it right for your skin? And we like to personalize that regimen for every skin type before we even start any of our procedures, because our results will be that much better if we just start on the foundation, the tuning up, the maintenance, right? Your, your beautiful car that you wanna, you know, glorify and really create that longevity. It's the same for your skin. Exactly. Perfect. Perfectly said, Dr. Sonia. So when we build a regimen, the first step that we're going to do is cleanse our skin. Now I hear all the time, oh, I just grab my cleanser at CVS or my bar of soap is fine. I'd rather save my money for the, the products that are going to do the heavy lift, like the retinols or the vitamin C's, something that's going to really transform my skin. And I'm here to tell you that your cleanser is your first step in your regimen and it has to be your most important step because it's preparing the canvas for anything else. The purpose of a cleanser is to lift sebum, debris, dirt, and bacteria from the skin so that we have a clean surface to work from. And if we're using a cleanser that is not pH balanced, so we have a normal pH, it's like about five and a half percent. If it's lower than that, it's considered um, acidic. And if it's higher than that, it's considered alkaline. If the pH of your skin is not normal, all those expensive products that you're putting on actually aren't able to penetrate. So we're not getting the benefits from those um, high priced, highly therapeutic products um, that you're looking to help transform your skin. Now, when choosing a cleanser, um, I always recommend, and with any step, figure out what your goal is with your skin. What is your skin telling you? Are you dry? Are you oily? Are you treating pigmentation? Is aging the issue? Figure out what your priority is in your skincare regimen. And we're gonna select a product in that category that suits your needs. So Dr. Sonia has acne reg, uh, products for uh, cleansers, um, very gentle cleansers for sensitive reactive skin, post-procedure skin, um, anti-aging cleansers that are gonna help exfoliate those dead stained cells that have pigment sitting on top of your skin, making your skin look dull and maybe a little more wrinkly. We have all of these cleansers, so which one do you select? Well, from my point of view, I have three cleansers in my shower um, because my skin is, I'm rosacea, so I get red fleshy skin. Um, I'm acneic, even at my ripe old age, I'm still fighting acne, which is like nature's cruel joke. And, um, and I'm aging 
Uh, so I've got fine lines and wrinkles that I'm always looking to abate. So in my shower, I have the deep purifying cleanser. That's my everyday gentle cleanser that never leaves my skin feeling di dry and tight. It's super hydrating and a little goes a long way. About the size of a quarter at most in the palm of your hand is all you need. Um, when I'm breaking out, I will choose an acne cleanser to substitute at that point. So if I've got more cystic acne, cystic acne is that bacterial acne, those deep inflamed pustules, I'm gonna use the antibacterial cleanser. And what I'm telling you that cleanser lasts me almost a year, like it lasts me forever. And then the acne cleanser is what I use when I see my pores looking large, congested, blackheads, whiteheads, um, overproduction of oil in my skin. I'll use the acne cleanser for that. And when I notice that my skin's looking dull, dry, I'm noticing the crepiness or the fine lines a little more, I'll use the exfoliating cleanser. That is a glycolic base, which is gonna help unglue those dead cells, allowing everything to penetrate better and showing the healthier, more youthful skin, not the older cells that are dying and waiting to slough off. Um, I don't want you to be concerned about buying three cleansers at once. Um, all of Dr. Sonia's products are FDA regulated. There's a two year shelf life. So I find I buy three cleansers at once so I can kind of mix and match depending on whatever my skin's telling me at the moment. And these cleansers last me about a year. So although I'm spending more money up front, in the long run, I'm not going back to replenish as frequently. So start your regimen with a cleanser. If you must buy your CVS cleanser or Walmart or wherever you grab that cleanser on the go, um, we're gonna want you to use some kind of a toner to reset the pH of your skin so that we can actually put those therapeutic products on after. So before I go to the next step, Dr. Sonia, is there anything that you'd like to say with regards to cleansers? Yeah, you know, um, you, you hit on so many great points and there's, there's a lot of summarizing I can do here, which is, you know, these are multifunctional products for multidimensional skincare issues. So just like you, Maria, are going through the, you know, the aging process and you're breaking out and you have rosacea, like, like, I'm so sorry, poor you. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's complex. It's hard to treat. You can't just go to a drugstore and be like, I'm just going to get this. and It's going to take care of all of my concerns. Unfortunately, there is no quick fix. There's no magic bullet out there. But what I encourage is using, there is a difference between medical grade skincare and over the counter skincare and prescription skincare. Um, they go through different, you know, different um, avenues of the FDA where over the counter going to the drugstore, doesn't have any FDA regulation or oversight and can pretty much have whatever claim that they want, um, you know, with that's just unregulated. It's just too difficult for the industry to regulate everything out there. You really don't know what you're getting. I'll often, you know, talk about a power couple. Like if you don't know what to start with, start with the power couple. You got your medical grade sunscreen and a, and a retinol. Well, if you go to a drugstore, they can add like a little drop of retinol and say, look, here, I'm a retinol product but you're not getting the benefits, which is the correct concentration, the way that it's made, the way that it's packaged. Um, they don't have clinical backing, where if you move up the rank to medical grade, you are getting that, you are getting more reassurance. You're not trialing and erroring all these different formulas that are out there that are unregulated by the FDA. You're actually using products that have higher concentrated, multifunctional, dimensional activity for your skin type and your skin concern. They're higher concentrated. They are backed by science. There's usually clinical studies before and afters to actually back up their claims. So there's a big difference between the two. Certainly, you know, I always say the best sunscreen, which is the foundation of youth, the best sunscreen is going to be the one that you will use at the end of the day. But if you're looking for a multi-dimensional use. If you're looking for higher concentrated ingredients, and then I talk about a triple threat formula where I actually add antioxidants, a lot of times you'll get dual acting formulas in medical grade skincare and make that skincare regimen much easier for you and much more effective over time. Agreed. Thank you for that. That great clarification. Um, so step one, 
cleanse. Um, I would encourage you right now, consider what cleanser you are and what is the best fit for you. And like me, you may have more than one. Um, next slide. The next step in your skincare regimen is exfoliate. So the way that our skin works is it has the fresh cells buried deep within the dermis. And as the cell is um, migrating to the top, it begins to die. And what we often see on the surface of the skin is dead and dying cells. These cells sometimes hold pigment discoloration that we wanna exfoliate. Um, it can make the skin look quite dull, less vibrant. I know when we look at children, their skin has that kind of glow about it. And as we age, we kind of lose that. A exfoliant is gonna help bring that back. Exfoliate also, exfoliating the skin also helps the absorption of all the other products that you're using because it's not getting sopped up kind of like a sponge in those dead cells. We can actually get delivery from the ingredients. There's two types of exfoliants. There's chemical, and there's mechanical. Chemical would be in the form of like a glycolic or a salicylic. And mechanical would be like a scrub that would um, mechanically exfoliate those cells. Um, I always can tell somebody that uses a glycolic exfoliant in particular because their skin has a lit from within look to it. It literally just glows. Um, Exfoliating is not something that we want to do every day. Um, I would say start with two times a week and listen to your skin. You can bump it up to three maybe. If two times is too much, you can um, pull back on it a little bit. But basically, we want to encourage that cellular turnover so everything else just works a little bit better. Um, we have a variety of options for you. The exfoliating pore cleanser that we looked at in the cleanse section it's your twofer, right? You're getting your exfoliation and your cleanser in one product. And this is a non-foaming creamy cleanser, deeply hydrating to the skin, but it is working um, multifunctionally. It's exfoliating the skin while cleansing it. The brightening scrub is a fan favorite. Oh my gosh, everybody loves this. This is using both the uh, chemical exfoliant. It's 10% glycolic with a half a percent salicylic, as well as mechanical. It has biodegradable beads that are working to help unglue and exfoliate those dead cells. And the bonus in this product is it has an ingredient called arbutin. This is a botanical brightening, so it's going to help brighten the skin as well. Um, Exfolilift. This is what we're going to use to exfoliate, maybe not the face, but the dry elbows those dry heels. If you see that you have flaky skin on your legs and body, this is gonna help with that. If you um, suffer for, from keratosis pilaris, um, otherwise known as chicken bumps on the back of your arm, this is gonna be the product that's going to address that. And then finally, sorry, I've got my, everybody's pictures covering the last product, is the resurface pads. I adore these pads. This is going to be my exfoliation for acne patients. So it has a glycolic and a salicylic in it. It's a therapeutic pad. You'll use it to tone your skin both morning and night. You can use it more often throughout the day, though, if you need. And this is going to help with blackheads, whiteheads, congested skin, um, large pores, oily skin. And if we have any parents with us today, if your preteens are starting to break out, buy this, buy the truckload. Put it in their backpack, in their gym locker. I put it in my gym bag when I go do yoga, keep it in the bathroom. I kept it in my car and passed it out to my teenagers like they were mints because for some reason, if they wash their face, they thought they would melt. So <laughs> this is truly a, a remarkable um, a, a acne product. Um, also think of it for men that have folliculitis. Folliculitis is that ingrown hair. This is gonna be the exfoliant for them to help um, extract the hair from the follicle. So step one, cleanse. The next step would be exfoliate. And we're gonna do this two to three times a week. Any and I will just add, Maria, they're all really great points, which is um, 
you know, there's something for everybody here. Again, from men to teens that resurfacing cleansing pads, I agree with you. I can't keep them on, on my shelf because they love it for not only their face, but also back knee, right? Yeah. The back and the chest. It's easy to put in their purse, keep it in their locker room. Um, mm -hmm. So you can do use these products even off the face, any of these actually. The exfoli lift works really well in other body parts like KP, keratosis pilaris, which I do have the bumpiness on the arms, heels. Oh my God, dry heels. That is like heaven sent for that. Um, just lock it in with a little good moisturizer and put some cotton socks over it. And you use this for a few nights and you're like all of that dry, dead, scaly, hard skin just melts away. And I think you're going to have some great before and after pictures. And another tip, please remove your makeup before you go to bed every single night. Um, I know that's so important. It's, we forget to do it, we get lazy, but it's so important so that your products can all work better. That's the function of the cleansing is to remove dirt, oil, and makeup. So don't be lazy, you wanna do all of those steps. Exactly. All right, next slide. Uh, here is that, I don't know if I would call it a beautiful before <laughs> and after, <laughs> but this is a before and after. So this is showing the Exfolia Lift being used on heels. So she's got, I mean, look, after the winter months within our heels are all tucked into boots, most of our heels begin looking like this. So this is um, a phenomenal for uh, softening and exfoliating those dry cracked heels. And just as Dr. Sonia said, apply it to your feet at night, throw on a pair of socks. Um, the after is two weeks after using this product. I was going to say, Maria, how did you get a picture of my feet there? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel during the winter. I'm like, oh my God, where is this coming from? I and know. It, is, it is very seasonal. So your skincare will change according to seasons, right? According to your age, according to stress, according to diet, according to your breakouts, according to season. So, you know, exactly. you do want to have these on hand, either already ready to go, like you said, with your cleansers, or just be ready to change them out um, seasonally. Yeah. And a doctor said before, a little goes a long way. It's medical grade. We're using higher percentages of active ingredients. We have therapeutic delivery mechanisms in these products. So um, know that it's not going to be an expense that you're repeating regularly. These last a long time. All right. Um, next slide. And just a reminder, don't forget the QR code is on every single slide. So if any of these products uh, ring true for you guys, make sure you scan it. You can find the product and you can actually uh, sort it out by I think uh, description and category as well as you know ingredients. So you'll be able to mm -hmm. find what you need. So antioxidants. Antioxidants are in my top three. Dr. Sonia said if you had you know a product duo, it would be sunscreen and retinol. For the product trio, I would throw in an antioxidant. And I will tell you that I believe the antioxidant has allowed me to continue looking youthful. Um, antioxidants are um, ingredients that shut down free radicals. So here's how it works. Um, UV rays, pollution, um, a variety of different um, systems, and even internally, we have oxidation stress that the oxidation is an unpaired molecule that connects to uh, cell and tries to steal away or another molecule that tries to steal away the molecule by damaging it. So an antioxidant shuts down that um, damaging factor and uh, helps protect the integrity of the skin, the health of the skin. Oxidation on the skin not only um, can cause cancer, but it breaks down collagen and elastin in the skin. It helps, um, uh, makes the collagen uh, cluster improperly. So we get kind of a, um, the deep lines and wrinkles in the skin. Antioxidants are key to the health and integrity of your skin. So when we talked earlier about having your car and putting it in the garage or keeping it in the shade, keeping it covered, um, an antioxidant is that for your skin. It's protecting the integrity of the skin, preventing the rust, preventing um, uh, the discoloration of the skin. So there's a variety of antioxidants out there in the market. Um, these three are all great. I'm gonna break it down so you know which one to choose. So the cooling hydration mist is a lightweight antioxidant that can be sprayed on the skin throughout the day. This would also be used as your, um, uh, your toner 
after cleansing if you're not using a pH balanced uh, cleanser. It's going to calm the skin. It's going to cool the skin. It's going to provide antioxidant protection as well as um, tighten the pores and brighten the skin. It's truly multifunctional. Um, this is available both in the large size and in a travel size. I keep the travel in my purse just to mist my skin throughout the day, just to cool it down and provide additional hydration. The triple repair cream, when I say that I believe this is the most important product ever produced, I don't mean in Dr. Sonia's line. I mean in the history of skincare. Um, this product contains um, the most preventative and therapeutic antioxidants available in very high potency. So it has green tea polyphenols, caffeine, and resveratrol. I remember it. I drink my coffee in the morning, caffeine, tea in the afternoon, green tea, and my wine at night. Um, so this is highly protective, highly anti-inflammatory. It reduces the redness in the skin and was published in a clinical study for rosacea. Um, this, I believe, is one of the key reasons my skin feels youthful because I've slowed down the aging process by applying this to my skin daily. The collagen brightening serum is a, we all know about vitamin C. We know it's a great antioxidant. This one is bolstered with additional brightening ingredients. This would be the vitamin C that I would recommend to somebody who's concerned about pigmentation. And vitamin C not only is a lovely antioxidant, so it slows down that aging process, but vitamin C is integral into building collagen. You can't build collagen without having C. And vitamin C is a natural skin brightener. So uh, if you're treating um, pigmentation, the vitamin C is your choice. If your skin is sensitive, reactive, if you have rosacea, if you're predisposed to skin cancer, the triple repair cream is what I would recommend. And honestly, the mist is something that I would use just throughout the day to bolster the benefits of both of those, calm and cool the skin. Uh, anything you wanna to add to this, Dr. Sonia? Yeah, um, I actually have my cool hydration mist because when I'm stressed out or my kids or my husband stressed me out, I literally just put it on. But then it also has this beautiful calming scent, like uh, fragrance to it. It's just like my holistic lifestyle. I just keep it at my desk whenever I'm stressed out, I'll put it on my face or I'll put it in the air. One or the other, it's going. Um, but I love that. And I love, you know, the collagen brightening serum is one of our top sellers just because um, I also get pigmentation, especially because I do break out hormonal acne. It leaves pigmentation at the end. Um, and that is the toughest part for skin of color patients, especially is the hyper pigmentation. This is my go-to along with, of course, our triple threat that we talked about um, in Power Couple. The collagen brightening serum is just great to produce some of that, 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 you know, glowing skin and help relieve that pigmentation quicker and faster. Uh, and the triple repair, literally everybody on the planet needs to be on that because it's so preventative. So cradle to grave. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we've gone through cleanse, exfoliate two to three times a week. And now we've applied our antioxidant. I think of this as my body armor protecting from future damage and future aging. Um, next slide. Uh, this is a before and after of the uh, triple repair cream. And this is showing the before, the redness, the inflammation of the skin. And after eight weeks of use, I promise you, you don't have to wait eight weeks to see results. Um, it, this was just the clinical study that they waited eight weeks. And um, the findings were so unique that it was published in a prestigious medical journal. Um, next slide. The next one is hydrate. Um, this is an interesting thing. I think we all kind of have grown up knowing that we need to put on a moisturizer or hydrate our skin. But when we speak to acne patients or oily patients, um, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna use a moisturizer. Like that's like, I have oily skin, I don't need that. Here's the truth. Our skin biologically makes oil, sebum. It does not make water. So 
putting water content, that hydration content onto the skin, not only helps allow the skin to remain flexible and um, prevent it from aging faster, from, from breaking the barrier of the skin, um, but it boosts that hydration level in the skin, allowing for the skin to actually heal better. So we have a variety of humectants in this line. Um, Hydra Boost is a hyaluronic serum. And um, if you know anything about Eva Longoria and hyaluronic, um, you know that it's a moisture binding molecule. It's quite large and it sits on the surface of the skin, drawing hydration from the atmosphere and from the lower skin up to create a plump, dewy, hydrated environment. What's unique about Dr. Sonia's product is it's more than that. She uses a fractionated molecule of the hyaluronic so we can actually get it to penetrate to where hyaluronic naturally occurs within the skin. So we can deeply hydrate the skin all the way down to the dermal layer. And if we can get hyaluronic back to where it naturally occurs, we can start producing collagen again. And this also has a peptide for collagen um, boosting and uh, antioxidants to protect against free radical damage. Um, this can be used directly on the skin, or you can add it to other products. Hyaluronic is used in prescriptives to aid in delivery. So it allows everything to work better. So use it on its own or supplement your other ingredients with a drop of this to bolster their efficacy. Um, this is great for um, not just dry people who crave additional water in their skin, more um, hydration, great for acne patients. This is actually going to help regulate the oil production in the skin and normalize the breakouts. Um, the next product is the Enriched Phyto Stem Cell Therapy Cream. That's a mouthful. And this is going to be what I would recommend to somebody who is drier, maybe more mature skin, compromised skin, um, where they just struggle to keep their skin hydrated. This has not only ingredients to provide hydration to the skin, but we have ingredients that exactly mimic the barrier of our skin to replenish it. So we're, I think of it like a glass of water and putting saran wrap on top so that it prevents the evaporation. If I took that saran wrap off, the water would eventually evaporate. So we're sealing in that moisture into the skin and we've included key antioxidants, green tea polyphenols, caffeine, resveratrol, as well as a peptide and a stem cell to build collagen and help um, with elastin repair. So phenomenal. This can be used both day or night. So that can be your night cream as well. And then we have quench and ultralight moisturizing creams. Very similar product, a different patient base. So your quench cream, I would say normal to dry, and it's got humectants and emollients, bringing that hydration to the skin, um, liposomal vitamins and antioxidants. So we have uh, provide nourishment to the cells and the quench has aloe vera in it, very calming to the skin. This is a lightweight moisturizer. And this is what I would say for somebody who's acneic or somebody who tends to run oily or even during the summer months when we just need a little kiss of extra hydration. And then, uh, I'm sorry, that's, I, I flipped them. My mistake, I was talking about the ultralight moisturizer. Sorry about that. Um, the quench cream would be from your normal to drier patient. And that is going to have additional ceramides in it to help with barrier repair, but still has the humectants and the liposomal vitamins. I apologize for my my switch of these. Um, no, but you know what? They're all great moisturizers at the end yeah. of the day. They're all like, you can't go wrong with, with any of this and what you choose. But I will say that the quench cream is like the one that everybody comes in during the winter because everybody's getting dry. And remember your skin changes. And then my ultralight moisturizing cream is where my acne patients are, my teens. They don't want you know too much oiliness or my oily skin patients or my the spring moisturizer. So, yeah. and then those who need that extra lift will um, do that Hydra Boost Serum and just put a few drops in there and it just gives them that pop um, and even extra um, hydration, which is what I love. And then someone who really wants a multifaceted product is that's gonna be the enriched 
enriched phytostem cell therapy cream. And it's really great. And like in our practice, that's what everybody gets on because we're doing all sorts of stuff on their face and we are um, causing all sorts of barrier integrity issues. So this really helps the healing. This it speeds up the healing. People love it. It's very calming. Um, and there's um, great anti-aging benefits, very multi-dimensional, multi-functional product. So, you know, you can't go wrong with any of these, but, you know, hydration is the one thing that you will need for the rest of your life. And I would rather you be overly moisturized rather than under moisturized. So like my oily skin might think they don't need anything, but if they've got acneic skin and they're using products that might dry them out, then they will need to balance that always with moisture because dry skin, irritated skin can also cause breakouts. So that's my rule of thumb. It's even with my acne patients who are oily skin or have combination, you still need a moisturizer on board. Yeah, a hundred percent agree. All right. So this is step four, right? We've cleansed, we've exfoliated, we've applied an antioxidant, and now we've got hydration. Next slide. Uh, this is a before and after of the uh, serum. You can see not only um, is her skin brighter and a little dewier, the fine lines and wrinkles have softened, but there's a change in the um, kind of ruddiness in her skin. Initially, it was a little bit red, a little bit ruddy, probably some inflammation. After six weeks of use, um, inflammation has decreased and that readiness is gone. I also notice a reduction in pore size when using this product. Uh, next slide. All right, protect. I mean, Dr. Sonia could do a dissertation on this. Um, I think we all can agree that you know, primarily to stave off the effects of aging and the potential for skin cancer is that we implement a sunscreen every single day, rain or shine. I had somebody say, if you can see your hand in front of your face, there's enough light to create damage. So put on your sunscreen. Um, sunscreen is very personal, as Dr. Sonia said before. <clears throat> a skin of color tends to like a more chemical-based sunscreen because it's sheer on the skin. Um, people that have compromised sensitive skin, I recommend that you veer towards a mineral sunscreen, like a zinc sunscreen. Um, it's interestingly enough, um, 30 or higher is great. I hear people like they're zealots about 50 and nothing wrong with SPF 50, but the difference between a SPF 30 and an SPF 50, even though it sounds big, is pretty nominal. Um, SPF 30 covers 97 to 98% of the burning rays, where SPF 50 covers about 98% of the burning rays. Um, also that SPF factor is only speaking to the burning rays. It is not addressing the UVA, the aging rays. Um, however, when we look to sunscreens, we want to look for broad spectrum on the label. Broad spectrum is going to identify that it's covering both the UVA and the UVB rays. And um, all of the Elite MD sunscreens are packed with antioxidants. You know, we talked about how those antioxidants shut down the free radical damage, helping slow down the skin's aging and help protecting the integrity of the skin. All of these sunscreens have that built into the system to protect the skin. And when it comes to sunscreen, consider how you're using it. I put on sunscreen before I put on makeup in the morning. Throughout the day, I use a powder sunscreen for reapplication. Um, when I go out into the sun and I'm showing some skin, I'm going to use a spray sunscreen or, or a cream on my body. Um, so consider how you're using it and Maybe your sunscreen is one of those things that's not one and done as well, like the cleanser. Maybe you're choosing a selection of sunscreens, maybe something tinted, something clear, something hydrating, something for the body, something for reapplication. Finding a sunscreen that you love and are willing to use every day is critical. And if I make any call out, um, I'm gonna say the BB primer, um, the Elite MD patients cannot get enough of this product. I think of it as my one and done product. It works as a primer. It is an SPF packed with antioxidants, uh, light coverage that is color matching. 
So when you apply it on the skin, you may say, oh, that's not quite right, um, but it will begin to reflect your natural skin tone and diffuse the imperfections. Um, lightly hydrating and all day oil control. So for me, this is like the, my one stop for sunscreens. Uh, Dr. Sonia, I'm sure you've got something to say. <laughs> I can always, I always have something, but to keep it short and sweet, because I know we've got a few more slides here. The, you know, people pay a lot of money to come in to Elite MD for all sorts of procedures. And a lot of it has to do with photo aging and lines and wrinkles. And I can tell you that a lot of the money invested on procedures could have been prevented by a good sunscreen by daily use, by consistency, by making sure that they're, you know, uh, wearing UPF rated clothing, where they're staying, you know, indoors between peak hours, 10 to four, um, you know, all of those little, little, little things that you do is really helping prevent the aging, photo aging process. So as it says here, aging is inevitable, we're all gonna age, but photo aging is preventable. So when they come in to tell me, I've got all these brown spots, I've got lines, wrinkles, I've got pores that are getting bigger. I've got, um, you know, all of these new things I never had before. And oh, by the way, I have it on my neck and my chest. And oh, now my hands have it too. Well, it's all photo aging that could have been prevented. So I know that. And, you know, I did this back in my twenties when I was seeing all these patients to get on the best sunblock and the best retinol that I possibly could because that was going to get me like halfway there, just starting young, but it's never too late to start either. So there's a lot of deep, deep, deep sun damage that still remains. Even when patients come in, they might see these brown spots, but there's a bunch more underneath the skin that they had, haven't even seen. And that takes decades to build. So, you know, a lot of people will come in thinking there's gonna be a cure or fix and I won't have any brown spots ever again. But truthfully, it is all of these layered so, you know, sun damaged um, skin layers that we're essentially trying to treat. But this is the one thing that people still don't do, even when they know they should be doing it, <laughs> or they have skin cancer and they still don't do it, even though they knew they should be doing it. That is our number one takeaway is invest in the best prevention that you possibly can. And then my dissertation will come in the next <laughs> talk, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, next slide. All right, so the final step in your skincare regimen may be um, multi-pronged, but it's repair. So we're looking at prepping the skin, protecting the skin, but now we wanna repair the damage that's been done. So damage can look like fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, laxity, puffy eyes, acne. Um, although there's a variety of ingredients that we wanna use to address damage, Retinol has been the most studied and tends to be the most effective, not just for pigmentation, acne, and anti-aging, as retinol works to increase collagen production, um, helps reduce existing wrinkles, fights acne, unclogs pores, strengthens aging skin, um, repairs sun damage. So these are all benefits that you're going to get from retinol. And the Elite MD line has retinol in a variety of products. So um, next slide. Um, so this is a before and after using Dr. Sonia's glow pads. Um, these pads can be blended in office based on your personal needs. This is not a one size fits all. We know that everybody's struggle with pigmentation is different. And as a practice, we look at you in a very unique manner. So if you're pregnant or nursing, if you don't wanna be on a hydroquinone, we have a product, again, freshly blended in practice that uses botanicals to suppress that melanin in the skin. If you want to be on hydroquinone, we can add hydroquinone to the percentage that's appropriate for your skin and your sensitivity and the outcome that you're looking for. So uh, this is something you cannot buy on the website. It's, it, we will be making it into a prescription. So it's essential that you go in and get an evaluation by a provider. Um, just know that this is truly important 
when using a, a product for skin bleaching or for skin brightening, that you're using a sunscreen. Essentially, you're taking the skin's natural protective uh, mechanism and suppressing it. So you have to wear a sunscreen, rain or shine, when using um, a hydroquinone product or any lightening regimen. Next. This is an example of the retinol eye cream. Uh, the retinol eye cream has 24 active ingredients that work uh, simultaneously to treat dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. And it has retinol in it along with peptides, hyaluronic, green tea, niacinamide, um, Arnica, vitamin K, chelating agents. I could go on and on, but the beauty of this product is it really it is. Bit tennis, but why finally? Can you mute your phone? Thank you. Um, so this is going to yeah. be applied morning and night, a half a pump between both eyes. And I recommend starting slowly. So starting at night, kind of every other night. And as you find that uh, your skin is tolerant to it, we can still, uh, we can continue using it every night and then morning and night. This before and after to me is profound. So uh, this is an Indian gentleman. The pigmentation that we see under his eyes is very much hereditary. And every doctor he went to see said that there was really nothing that could be done to address the pigment under his eyes. And this is three months using um, our eye cream. And so truly, uh, I think of it like a magic eraser. So this is truly a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Um, dark circles are tricky. You know, dark circles are not easy. It, they're common. Uh, we see this problem pro like commonly in especially skin of color. And there tends to be a multifactorial reason behind it, whether it's genetics or the melanin or increased blood circulation, the vessels. So it is a multifactorial problem, but this is a great stepping stone, easy way to use this cream that's just power packed with everything possible you can put that's still gentle enough to use around the eye because that's the other thing is you can't use um, too strong of a product otherwise you're gonna cause irritation, but you also wanna you know, really combat synergistically all of the problem areas. So this is a great result for just a topical alone. Yeah. And then certainly we can add other things later. Agreed. Um, next slide. Uh, th this is a ideal example of showing um, the reduction of fine lines and wrinkles, the bag under the eye, and a lift on the upper lid. And next slide. Uh, neck cream. This is another repair uh, product that is so key. As we are more comfortable going into the office and having injectables or lasers, you know, we're creating this beautiful, youthful appearance with our face, but when the le neck is left untreated, there's kind of a um, disconnect in the continuity of, you know, looking youthful. So this particular product um, lifts, firms, and tightens that neck area. It would be used both morning and night, but it has ingredients. Um, one of them is called Leon Topodium Alpinium Callus Culture. And it won Innovation of the Year in Europe for its ability to lift firm and tighten. Um, it also has niacinamide. So you also see on this patient a reduction of pigmentation on her neck and decollete with consistent use. Next slide. How long, how long did it take you to learn that name and practice it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It went through my brain while I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it's a very, very important plant that is really doing all the power um, behind that picture. So it's great. <laughs> power lifter. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Liquid Gold RX. Um, this is retinol. And uh, again, we go back to what Dr. Sonia was saying earlier in our conversation, retinol and sunscreen. This is the power couple. So the Liquid Gold RX is a phenomenal retinol that's going to increase cellular turnover, fading of pigmentation, a reduction of pore size, um, helping reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's incredibly calming because um, it's formulated with green tea polyphenols and caffeine. Um, retinol, which can be quite irritating to the skin and people have a hard time remaining compliant. Um, this product 
is much more suitable because of those calming antioxidants. So it can be used daily. So you want to use it at night before you go to sleep, wash your skin, put the retinol on and put a nice moisturizer on top. And um, so uh, Joanna, uh, every night is what we ideally want you to get to. If you need to do the slow approach, I encourage you to do that. Um, retinol really breaks down the skin before it builds it back up. So start with two times a week, no irritation, three times a week, no irritation. And we want to build up to every night. And then this is just going to be a product that you're going to use forever and ever. Um, but this, the results are tremendous. And we offered on a variety of strengths. So two times would be somebody with really sensitive skin, rosacea, reactive skin. Five times, that's going to be pretty much everybody can tolerate that. And then we have the step up. Um, so we every time we increase the number, we're increasing the potency of the product. Don't feel like this is, um, you don't have to go from zero to 10 right away. Um, this is a marathon. And start slow and build up. Every time you go to buy another bottle, is your skin prepared for it? If it is, step up to the next drink. Next and that's slide. an important uh, point, Maria. There was another question because they did, did start the retinol and they were using some of the moisturizers and there was some peeling happening. Now, the good news is we want some of that because it's doing the job. That's great. Um, but we do want to start slow, start slow and steady with retinol. That's the powerful one. And you always want to use a moisturizer with it at night on top. So I tell people to use it every other night initially, or if you got super sensitive skin twice a week is great with the moisturizer on top for a couple of weeks, and then you can increase it from there. The job is for your skin to accommodate to it over time. But if you go full force, you are going to have irritation and problems and, and really extraordinary peeling with it. And that's when people do get off of it thinking, oh, it didn't work or they're allergic when they're not allergic to it. They just needed to use it the right way for their skin type. So everyone's skin is different, but the goal is, the tip is just start slowly and work your way up. And when you're done with the 2X, you go up to the 3X, as long as you can tolerate it. When you're done with 3X, you keep going higher. My goal is to get you as high as possible without irritation to maintain your consistency. And that is going to be doing the heavy lifting out of all of the skincare that you do. Agreed. Uh, next slide. This is the Stry Titan Body Butter. Um, this before and after, uh, she had nothing else done. So there was no cool sculpting. There was nothing done. Um, she's obviously very fit. I wish I could claim that that was me. It is not. Um, so you can see the laxity um, above her navel. And then two weeks after using the Stry Titan Body Butter, um, it's completely gone. This is lifting and tightening the creepy skin, the laxity. Think about it um, on your underarms. Think about it on your legs when you see the crepiness, the um, stomach area. It's just going to firm and tighten the skin. For those of you who are aging, and when I say aging, I mean like in your 80s, I know that you probably noticed that your skin's thinning a bit. This has retinol in it. It is actually gonna help thicken your skin again. Um, and clinical studies have been shown that it, it works um, in aged patients. So whereas the skin doesn't normally heal itself very well as we age, this is quite effective at thickening that skin and help tightening it and helping prevent that bruising. Next slide. And this is the Voluma Lip Lip Plumper. Um, as we age, we notice a loss of collagen in our lips. This is going to provide that instantaneous plumping and um, what we call rubification, kind of a redness, a rosiness to the lips. Um, it has SPF in it. So we're protecting it against sun damage. And I had mentioned earlier that UV rays are responsible for the breakdown of collagen and elastin. So this is gonna protect the health of the lip and the volume of the lip. 
It also has a peptide in it. This peptide is stimulating collagen production. So after consistent use, you're actually going to see naturally fuller lips, um, even without the application of the lip plumper because you're building your own collagen. Um, this is such a lovely product. It's affordable. It lasts a long time. And it is one of the most cosmetically elegant lip plumpers I've used. And next slide. Uh, needles, uh, no needles duo. This is a um, power couple, if you will, that works by using peptides that stimulate a reaction within the skin. So the Firmalift is working like a topical Botox. And in clinical studies, Firmalift um, ingredient, the hexa, uh, hexapeptide 8, has been shown to reduce fine lines and wrinkles by, get this, 30% in 30 days. So really effective, effective um, product for lifting, firming, helping reduce the crepiness, relaxing um, those aggressive muscle movements. And then the other Dermafil is um, acting like a filler. It's um, providing hyaluronic to the skin and a peptide, which is stimulating your own collagen along with antioxidants. So paired together, this is really the perfect duo to um, elongate your in-office treatments, your Botox or your fillers, or if you're not quite ready yet, this will help stave it off a little longer. Uh, yeah, there was a question about this is that, you know, they're coming in for Botox and things like that, but they've got some wrinkles that are close. Maybe the Botox can't touch because it's not in a safety zone. This is a really wonderful added um, combination with Botox and fillers that people will get to elongate Botox results and also do preventative work. Um, and certainly there's other things that we can do for those little uh, fillers that uh, I answered there in the question, including lasers. So perfect. Yeah, this, and so the blue serum that we saw earlier, the hydration serum and these two products every single day, I'm like, I mix them all together in one in my palm and apply them to my skin. I, this, these are must haves. Um, next slide. You guys have all been so generous with your time. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to share a before and after. So this is me. Um, the first image is me at 47. Um, just as I was beginning to go on my medical grade skincare journey. And you can see the crepiness, the sun damage that I received in my youth, um, large pores, unevenness of tone and texture. And the uh, next slide is my before and after six years later. I apologize, this was not, the second slide was not taken in a, in a studio. So it's a little hazy, but I do lasers. I've done about four in my life. I do injectables, but that youthful appearance to my skin, I attribute to being on a therapeutic skincare regimen that I'm committed to. And that's where you're gonna see the difference in your skin. And um, Maria, you have like an inner glow there that you know is so natural that you can see that you're taking care of your skin. Yeah. And that's really where your investment has been. Yeah, on, honestly, yeah, you can see Almost my skin has a reflective quality in the, in the after picture. Um, next slide. So we've completed the, the building a regimen, cleanse, exfoliate, antioxidant, hydrate, protect with sunscreen, and repair with retinols or peptides. And we want to protect our skin during the day when we're getting the largest antioxidant or oxidative hit, sorry, the largest oxidative hit, the most damage happens during the day. And at night is when our skin repairs itself. So we want to use our reparative ingredients at night. I encourage you to consider what products are essential for you in building your own regimen. Take full advantage of the promotion. It's running for 48 hours. 15% off site-wide. And you can use this QR code by just opening up your phone, opening up the camera and holding it over the QR code. You'll get a pop-up and you just press the pop-up and it'll take you right to the shop page. And if you're still confused 
about how to build a regimen that works for your particular concerns. Um, Elite MD has taken the legwork out of it. They offer a variety of pre-made kits for specific concerns. They're on the site, so you can just go to the site. And Dr. Sonia, can you share, you have an email or a way to contact somebody where they get a live support. Yes, so if you guys are, we went through a lot of information. I think the, the key here is remember that you wanna build something that's personalized to you to make it super and simple. I always talk about that um, power couple, which is sunscreen and retinol, or the triple threat, sunscreen, retinol, and add the antioxidant. Uh, you will need a moisturizer with any of the retinols. And you've pretty much built your kit. Like that's a good starting foundational kit um, for your skin and just, you know, determine whatever other cleansers you want to, you may want to use, but it's, it's simple. And if you are still confused and well, what should I use? They're already pre-made kits as well. Um, and the pre-made kits can be found also on the website. Again, scan that and you just look up kits and then all the kits will also, um, come up. I wanted to keep the guesswork, you know, leave the guesswork out of you and just make it so simple that you can just purchase a kit. And if you still want some more, um, individualized, personalized questions on what you should use. We do have on our website, if you go to our website, we have a feature called Clara and you can text us. Let us know you uh, attended the webinar and you have some questions or you want to get a uh, skincare consultation uh, personally with me. I will also make myself available um, for these next 48 hours for anybody who's interested or have, have personal questions. Uh, write down the code so you guys will have full access to the 15% off all of the products. We are not actually uh, allowing anyone else to use it export except for the people that uh, watch this talk. Um, and um, yeah, the scanning, I think, will be an easy way to find what you need. And then uh, our website has all of our products, including the ones that we spoke of here. Um, and if you guys have any other questions about any of the other procedures, you can also book a complimentary consultation with us and we can help walk you through. But the good news is you're going to be halfway there. You're going to be on the right skincare so that you can now go into your uh, procedural journey to really go through the natural transformation that you may be after. So there's plenty of ways to get to us. And then we're also on social media, on Instagram and Facebook. Please follow us. We have lots of uh, beauty tips. We share lots of patient um, stories. We share all about information about our skin um, kits and uh, skincare. Um, and then we also do free giveaways. Um, and one of the lucky winners who um, attend and purchase will also receive a free skincare item, um, compliments of us as well. And Maria, any other lasting, uh, I think this is your last slide. Is that right? This is it. This okay. Is it. Okay, good. Oh, there, sorry, oh, there we go. This there is, you go. This is, uh, this is even bigger. So you can really scan me. <laughs> and consider as you're building your regimen, like this is a lifelong journey. We're not going to do our skincare for three months and then abandon ship. So consider when you pull together your regimen and you put it in your basket online. Um, today you're getting that 15% discount, but for a continued savings and ease of um, delivery, you can set up subscribe and save on the site. You can choose the frequency that you want it delivered and you have control to cancel or amend it at any time. Like it's not going to be one of those things that we're just going to keep sending you product and you can't get a hold of anybody. You can, you have complete control, but it allows you to, without thinking, have that redelivery of your product so that at 10 o'clock at night, when you run out, you're not panicking, trying to figure out how you're going to get into the office or how you're going to wait, you know, a few days for your product to show up. And we have lots of patients who do subscribe and save, especially the loyal, um, uh, patients that come to our practice because we put them all on skincare and they end up doing um, subscribe and save. So we have over a hundred people that are doing subscribe and save hassle-free deliveries at your home, one, two, or three month options. You can cancel anytime. Very simple, very easy because we have like some really loyal, like cult fans of some of our top sellers, which is amazing, but this makes it just so much easier. And especially because we do get patients from, from all over the world, this makes it so easy. We can ship even out of state all, you know, anywhere that you want in the country um, and you lock in your savings and there's free shipping um, over, I think $150. So there's some added benefits for you there. 
Um, and you will always have a skincare concierge that you can call us with any questions that you have. And I'm always available if you ever need anything as well. Um, and saying that, I think we've covered a lot of information. Um, there were a lot of questions that came in. I was so happy to see. Thank you for all of your interactions and being so interactive. I think I answered a lot of them, but um, yeah, I think there's any other questions that do come up, feel free to, to let us know. You can text us and I'm happy to answer those for you. But thank you guys so much for sticking with us for a little over an hour. We were hoping to be done a little sooner. Um, hopefully you got some lunch in and you got some really great information on your transformational journey to getting healthy, glowing skin. If you guys have any feedback or anything that you guys want us to share or talk about in the future, uh, please do let us know. We're always looking for feedback and we hope that we'll see you guys again very soon. Thank, Thank you, Maria, for joining us for all of your expertise and knowledge and um, doing this with me. I'm sure we'll do this again very soon. Yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining. Thank you, guys. Bye.